okay so as i told you there are three things one is source channel and sink so all these source channel and sink connect to each other using one agent we can give any name for this agent for our case I, we have given test underscore agent okay and then we need to give the value so for test underscore agent dot source we are having test underscore source for channel we are having test underscore channel and for sync we are having test underscore sync so here we are registering source channel and sync okay once we are done with the register then we need to provide some configuration parameter to source so how to call source how to set any parameter to source so source is test underscore agent dot source okay this is source dot test underscore source dot type means it is a execute this is a type of command which we want to perform okay it can be execute it can be copy or it can be any command okay so for now what we want to do we want to execute what command that command is written here okay now what is this command this is just to read a file of customer underscore json file which we want to transfer okay now what is the batch size okay test underscore source what is the batch size for test underscore source we uh, source we 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 have mentioned it as a hundred and through what channel source should pass this file so that is a test underscore channel okay that is a we have registered source can have a source can have a batch size of 100 and source will pass this data to this channel which is registered over here okay now what type of memory we want to use for this channel okay so what we want to do we want to perform each and every execution in memory because we know the data which we are trying to transfer is not that much huge okay so that can be stored in a memory okay now with this test underscore agent dot sync dot test sync dot channel now we have to mention that sync should also use the same channel okay so we have configured same channel which we have configured in the source this is source this is sync okay so for both we have configured the same channel okay now what is the sync type where we want to store the data from sync so we have mentioned that it should be hdfs okay now this is just a read and write format it should be a test file type should be a data stream file prefix okay when we are going to store the file if you want to set any prefix in that file okay you can mention it here over here if you want to consider local timestamp means on which machine we are working if we want to use the timestamp on that machine you can make it true okay now you have to give the sdfs path okay where you have to copy it and then there are three parameters which is roll count roll size and capacity so what is roll count roll count is for sync and capacity is also for channel so means channel and sync should have channel should have uh, sync should have roll count same as the capacity of the channel means channel can pass these many record at once to sync okay and sync roll count should be able to store all those channel capacity at once okay we'll go through with each and every point one more time but till this point is it clear to everyone if it is not everything got clear then that is fine but something is understand did you understand anything what we are going to do here we are configuring this source sinks and source sync and channel and then we are doing uh, tightly couple this source sync and channel with each other to transfer the data from one machine to sdfs through this agent 
that is what we are going we are doing here did anyone understand anything hmm no no this is a one time activity yes then you have to then you have to do it okay yes 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 this is also such in a specific okay so you have to do it once once but once you are done with it then you have to just execute your command okay so now <clears throat> let's see this everyone is able to see this guys are you able to see this okay so what is this this is a configuration so we i am just trying to explain you one more time because this this is the only thing which we need to take care for flume rest is very simple okay so we we are going to spend more time on this as well okay so over here first of all what we need to do we need to configure source channel and sync okay with the test underscore agent you can give any name right aman underscore agent or tushar underscore agent you can give any name but then you have to follow the same name throughout the configuration file okay now we have to give what is this test agent dot source dot test dot source type means what type of command you want to execute when this flume will run so we have given execute what is this execute if we want to uh, execute a shell script or a bash command so we can write exe other than this these are other other commands which we can use okay we can use udp command we can use sequence generator syslog jms source netcat avro file so many things we can do okay now what is this test agent dot source dot test source dot command so this is the command which we want to execute okay right now we want to read a semi structured file so i have given a tail command everyone is aware about tail command right does does anyone know what is this tail command okay okay this yes so this tail command used in linux it is saying that whatever file i have given here i want to read 5000 lines for, from that file okay the latest 5000 lines okay this commands is used for that if i give if i have given is a year 100 so this command will read latest 100 records or latest 100 lines not records over here one line is consider it as a one record that's it okay now the, what is the batch size the maximum batch the maximum number of line to read and send to the channel at a time the maximum number of lines to read and send to the channel at a time over here what source is doing we are saying that 100 is the maximum number of line source can read from this outside machine and send to channel okay okay it is it is pretty simple okay it is not that much difficult we just need to understand what does what is the use of all this configuration parameter and we just need to run it okay now we have what we are doing here we are configuring channel with the source okay now we have to give in what is the memory what is the channel type okay channel can be a uh, memory memory plus hard disk or only hard disk okay these are the three types of channel we can use okay if we know that the data which we are going to pass through this channel is not much then we can use memory but if if we know that the it might be possible that the size of the data can be increased okay so we can give memory plus hard disk okay 
so it it what it will do it will first store the data into the memory once memory is full then channel will transfer that data into hard disk and once this capacity is full which this capacity channel capacity is full okay then it will start transferring the data from channel to sync okay till the time this capacity is filling source will keep on transferring data to channel okay now <clears throat> what is the type of sync we said it is a sdfs if you want to store data in sdfs okay this is the format of sequence file record okay <clears throat> it can be a text or writable whatever you want okay now <clears throat> it's a what is this data stream it's a file format currently it can be a sequence file data stream or compressed stream this three is this three format we can use okay flume supports okay now test what is this file prefix i think it is understood right whatever file is going to create i want test hyphen event to be prefixed in the file name okay now i want to use the local timestamp that's true or we can do it as a false okay now this is the sdfs target directory now what is this role count test agent dot sync dot test sync dot sdfs role count okay now number of event written to file before it rolled okay before it rolled role means humne humne ye word suna hua hai that uh, today is a roll out for that product right roll out means transferring or migrating data from one system to another system or make it available to the end user okay so that is the roll count so what is the roll count that sync can do at once that is 10000 means sync can pass 10000 records at a time to sdfs and channel can also pass that much record to sync see the maximum number of event store in a flume channel okay so what is this this is a capacity of the channel so the maximum number of event store in a channel okay remember that source is passing 100 at once so once source is passing 10 times to channel then channel capacity gets full then channel will pass all its events to sync and then sync in transfer it to sdfs okay what is role size that is a file size to trigger a role okay file size to trigger a role means once the file size is for example here for every transfer new file will be created okay for example we have written role size is equal to 1 okay so जब भी भी 10,000 रिकॉर्ड यहाँ पे हो जाएंगे हमारे एस डी एफ एस में हो जाएंगे यहाँ पे फुल तब वापस एक नई फाइल बनेगी अभी के केस में क्या होगा सेम फाइल पे सब कुछ जाता जाएगा ओके नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द कमांड फॉर फ्लू this is the command that we need to run for flume okay let's understand this command first this is the command which we need to use now what is that command we have we have this flume ng agent okay then hyphen n test agent what is this test agent yes this test agent is used to communicate between sync and channel and source and then hyphen f then we need to give the path of our configuration file which we have just see now flume ng what is this flume ng flume ng is a where is it user lib this flume ng okay this is the file 
you can see this file flume ng okay so to run this command what i need to do i need to open a command prompt then i need to go to this location cd path of the bin file okay no such directory okay Q-M-N-G bin. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. Now I have flu mng so I can run flu mng command from here. So let me just copy it and paste it here. Okay. So we are saying what we are doing. We are passing the agent name, which is test agent. Okay. And then we are passing the, our configuration file. So now we have inside this configuration file. Where is our configuration file? What we are saying that from under this directory, there is a file with the name of customers.json. This is the file customer.json and I want to transfer this file into this directory user cloud era flume test customer. So let me go to that. Okay, user cloud era flume test and then customer and then one folder is created with the today's date. Okay, so over here The date is 20th. Okay, let me delete this. Okay, I have created it yesterday. Okay, no need to delete it. Okay, <coughs> so what we will do? Let me run this command. So this command will transfer this customer.json file into this location. This is our STFS location. So let's run it. Press enter. Okay, see command type sync name test sync has started okay test source has started test sync has started test channel has started okay and exe source is starting with command see this is the same command which we have given okay So now it is running. It is transferring the data. Now what is it is saying? Writer callback called. Now let me check this location. Let me just refresh it. Now I'll get two folders. Okay. Now see I have given the file prefix as a test events dot. What is this? This is a timestamp. Now let's open this file. Again, this is the same JSON file which I'm have which I'm having here. This is also a JSON file. This is the same JSON file one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Over here also one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, right? 